Welcome back, everybody, to the stream. We've got some more Castlevania lined up for tonight. Four coming up this week. I do need to get footage of both Hollow Knight and Bloodstain, as, again, two of the uh, biggest uh, Metroidvanias that came out. I kind of need a lot of screenshots of them for the book. So we'll be probably doing some plays of them. And I picked up a Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth while it was on sale. So that will be kind of like our end of the year uh, big AAA game to play. As soon as we're done with everything else that I have in store. Hey Thorn. Besides playing Castlevania tonight, I also have another IGF game that I need to take a look at. And that is Anomaly Collapse. Which was a kind of like tactical strategy uh, roguelike. That we play the demo to, that I need to see how it turned out. Let's see. So we finished four, we finished Bloodlines. We have one Game Boy, we have Simon's Quest, which I don't know if we'll be able to actually finish that one on stream or not. And of course, Castlevania 3. But I do actually need to get footage of Castlevania 2. We did you, we did this one, that one, that one. Alright, should we go with... Hm. I have no idea who Christopher Belmont is. Alright, so do we want to do Belmont's Revenge? Three, or just jump right into Simon? Wait. I am so confused by the timelines for the Castlevania games. Wait, so Castlevania 3 was the pre- I had no idea Castlevania 3 was the prequel to Simon. All right, this is probably gonna be shorter. All right, we'll do a little bit of three, and then we'll switch over to two. All I forget this one is like a hard mode or not. I, I miss when we can't jump up and down stairs. So this is the one I think everyone remembers from the NES era. We have the multiple characters, multiple routes. And of course all the fancy enhancements that come with uh, being more of a later gen NES game. I'm not falling for these uh, bats right here. So the last time that I played this... We won using uh, Grant. So to be fair, we should try and use one of the other characters. Oh. I'm 
least he jumped into the uh, holy water. That's just a troll right there. <laughs> no wall meat yet. I get three shots of every Medusa head. Can't even stop and take a drink. Mm. I'll keep the holy water for right now. Should be coming up on boss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm gonna be finding tons of health in this one, like in Super Castlevania. No, this is three. <laughs> Two, I'm not going to use a walkthrough, which is probably why we're not going to get through that. <laughs> In an early manner. Oh. for me. I'm sure there's a hitless challenge in this, too. Oh. So the question is, should we go for a solo run, an Alucard run, or a uh, Sylvia run? See, we went up and we did Grant before. Sure, that's a death trap too. Oh, I should be making some uh, safety saves here too. Really happy that it only took one hit. Whoa. Mm. Pro jump on his part. And this is when the uh, evil show up. No owls. Every flying enemy in this game is annoying. <laughs> oh. Well, I missed him on that first one. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna need the save scumming for, uh, <laughs> Simon. Can we get a numeral? Nice effect in the background. <laughs> Die. A lot easier hitting this one than they were in the Castlevania 1. So this time, if we go up, we get her. There's not- oh, there you go. I was wondering which route. Hmm. I'll take that. And I remember, we, uh... We're going to have to deal with the uh, jump physics here. I like them all. Maybe except for Simon's quest in terms of being very weird. <laughs> but you do have to enjoy uh, this kind of jumping style. Damn jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Oh. Although I do like some of the improvements they added in the later ones, like being able to see on the candles which ones are weapons and which ones are just hearts. Didn't I fight you in Super Castlevania? <laughs> oh. And this one they can just spawn infinitely at you too. I think just growing up, I got used to it. Uh. Oh. Back here? Not too far. You. <laughs> now, the one or the several Castlevanians we're not going to be able to play would be the. Uh, PlayStation and the N64 ones, unless I can get them through emulation. Ow. Yeah, UFO 50 was fantastic. Alright, don't hit the step unless we absolutely need to. Oh, 
Oh, that was a lot better. Save them. Sure. <laughs> they did have the, uh, that first game with or several games had some very major committed jumping to them. Alright. So what is the command since there we go? So we trade weapons or magic. If I remember, I think ice was considered, like, the best tool here. I was about to say, I was hoping I could be in range of hitting that. Mm-hmm. Oh! I you fire in the air? Yes. The nice thing about our little stick is that it's fast. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I thought it was going to nick my foot. <laughs> and of course you have Curse of the Moon. Doing something very similar in this style. I didn't check. How much do I actually use for the fire? Just one? Hmm. That's not bad. I'm gonna be looking at chat. I'm gonna miss one of my jumps any second. I can feel it. Oh, good. <laughs> I think a few of these games, it would be so much more frustrating if we didn't have saves coming. But it does make a lot of these uh, uh, class games a little bit more approachable. Funny. When I don't do what we need, and when I... Need it, I don't do it. Are we at boss already? Yep. Damn, that's actually really powerful. Could have been very bad. Like any game that's like limited lives, 
Like, safe scumming just does a lot to help there, especially continues. Oh, oh wrong button. Come on. Mm-hmm. TMNT, the, uh, not the arcade game, is a good example. <laughs> the very first one that was more like an adventure, action adventure. Oh! Jeez. Okay, that was very close right there. One of these days, I should really do some masochism. Oh, and play... Ghost and Goblin's Resurrection again. Oof. Nice night view. Where are you going? The screen wrap is not saving me here. Ooh, that could have been death right there. There's our two. Yeah, I did. It was really nice. Definitely a lot more easier to play than the uh the original original. Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, I played a little bit of Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection, but did not get far on that. Oh, that didn't take my health. Oopsie. Oh, good. Oh, wrong button. Hmm. He is not, a. Uh... And hold down. And we gotta go though, we're running out of time. Uh oh, uh oh. Trying to run out the clock on me? It's gonna get, uh, yep, yeah, that's the rule, you gotta try and catch that. I hit that with a 
fire from this angle? No. Oh. Wrong button again. Hmm. That was a very, uh, nasty spot for him. It's only gonna get nastier, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, yep. Hmm. They love these uh, long uh, vertical climbs. I'm in score any smaller jumps, yeah, so that's good. Oh, good, it's our friend. Hmm. Holy War would have, like, uh, knocked that guy out right away. Or the cross. But we're gonna seriously need some uh, food if we're gonna take on the uh, boss of this level. This, is this the uh, room with the uh, vampire hunters in it, or am I thinking of a different room? Well, you're a little late. I think we're dead. Mm -mm. Some, uh, some kind of meat here, we're gonna survive. Oh, of course. See, areas like this is where... Grant would be very welcome. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh we almost had a very big alley there. He is not falling for it. Ooh. A little slow in there did not help. Oof. I am almost positive we're gonna die here. Yeah, it could have been down that hallway below. Oof. Oof. Eesh. 
Should be like meat. Uh -oh. Yeah, this part we may have to take a death on. Eh, maybe this Frankenstein again. Hey, it is. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. It's nice when the boss is easier than the stage. Positive, she gets an ice magic spell. Not a bad hit. I don't want the. Do I want the witch? Nah. Mm. This is coming back to me. And not in a good way either. <laughs> Easier to hit them with this being more vertical. There it is. Wait, is this just one? Wait, does it cost me anything? Yeah, it does. Ah, uh, yes, there. Oh! Ice is definitely the uh, MVP here. Again, Castlevania is full of very memorable and very annoying enemies, all at the same time. The fact that this only costs one... ...is so crazy to me. <laughs> I forget if it's useful against the bosses. Oh, I thought I could duck that. Oh. They're just too tall for this. Two, three. Oh, come on. It kind of, like... He seeks on the stair sometimes, I'm noticing. <laughs> oh, like right there. Like, this is where again, I'm going. <laughs> Have to make use of some cheese. Boom. Mm hmm. The hunchbacks and the eagles are the extra source of nightmares. That was good. The ice stopped me from it doing the full jump. <laughs> Three. I have to remember we can cast that in the air just to make things part a little bit fairer. Since I died three times here already, we're gonna... Oh. Take revenge on him like that. 
Oh. There should be some meat around here, right? And the fact that this only costs like one heart is crazy. A uh, bad jump scare there. This is either the serpent, or we're fighting kind of like the evil gang, I think, is the uh, boss at the end of this. Yeah, we cannot lose this, uh... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I can't lose the, uh, ice. It is too good. <laughs> this one, the bridge collapses? Yep. Uh oh. Wait, uh. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you can't swap it. You can't swap while uh, they're frozen. <laughs> I guess that's to prevent shenanigans. <laughs> So, I'm almost positive we're fighting the, uh, Water Dragon next. Wait, is that Frozen already? Oh, never mind. <laughs> almost just said that perfectly. Oh, no, let me guess. They can be in any, uh, spot. If I remember, 8 or 9 was a hell level. I'll know when I get to it. Uh, you know we're officially close when you get the uh, actual castle map. Oh my goodness, I can't hit this guy. This is in the hell level. I think it's the next one. And this has, I think, one of the harder uh, Dracula fights. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Mm. You have no idea how much I love this thing, or the ice attack is a radial. I think what's also fascinating, all the Castlevania games that we play, like, the music all still rocks. Like, I don't think there's, like, a... Any one of these, I would say, has, like, bad music to them. Oh, this is gonna be... A nightmare. Alright, get me the hell out of that room. Yeah, 
Okay, so as long as we keep ice, I think we're safe. If I lose it for any reason, then we're in a lot of trouble. Come on. Do I want to reload that just so I don't take all the extra damage? This is again when enemies can respawn if you uh, go back and forth to where their spawn locations are. Oof. So many fiendish uh, jumping mechanisms in this one. Oh, I gotta get a screenshot of that. Oh my, I did not think I've made that one. Yeah, I think this is the uh, 3v1 fight coming up. Wrong button. What? Huh. Does the ice neutralize the red skeletons? Huh. Neat. I did not know that. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> I think that was scarier in my head. <laughs> oh, come on. Should be some wall meat. Uh oh, maybe not. Mm -hmm. I don't think ice works on bosses. Does it? No, not really. Probably one, uh, Trevor for this next room. Oh! <laughs> I misread the platforming there. <laughs> and maybe I'm... Oh, I'm mistaken. It's not a 3v1 fight, that's the pain one. It's a, a mirror fight. That's right. Oh man, that is so tight. Alright, we'll do a safety here. Yeah, you kind of have to preemptively ice to get them. I can't believe that worked out that well. Hmm. It actually saves you a little bit if you just let it fall like that. Say that right. <laughs> right? I need you to come back over. Huh.
I can't jump up here, thankfully. This is one of those, it's not a marathon, it's a uh, sprint kind of fight. Around. There's one. He's gonna come over here. He may just stay to the left hand side. Yeah. Oh, come on. One down, two to go. I think. Are we doing another Cyclops? Good, can we that hit me? Hmm. I mean, this level arrangement is definitely a lot freer. Come on. Well, of course. This is being common save for the fact that we have three instead of two. Come on, buddy. I don't remember the death fight in this one at all. We have this. Ah. Oh. Trying to get those jumps, it's not working. Alright, so it's seven, eight, nine, and then ten is the final level. I have those bloody tears somewhere. Oh, is this where we fight death? the power of ice. <laughs> oh. oh, I thought I uh, respawned them. What's our time? It is 10.50? Alright, I think we're making good time. What? I hit that. some health soon.
I did not know that ice counters the red skeletons, too. Pretty sure ice has n does nothing against death, though. like wall me right here, right? No. Hmm. Do we get another hell hallway coming up? That doesn't help me, game. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have a... Wait, what's this? Is this... Is orb eating worth it? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, I'll keep ice. Is this what I think it is? Yep. And I am not in the position to be fighting death either. Oh my. First try death without any... <laughs> oh no. Never mind. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Do I save this or do I let it go? Mm. I'm pretty sure I can beat death. Don't think I want to give up ice. Will holy water help me here? I remember Axe, I think, being the de facto weapon for Dracula. Oh, that's not good. Is it RNG how he moves, or is it just going to be a fixed pattern? I think he's moving in a fixed pattern. So in theory, I should be able to use that against them. That can't be good. 
Okay. If I can get through the first phase without taking any damage, I think we're good. Eesh. A little bit more of a health buffer would have been nice. I may take an intentional death to see how far it puts me back. You know what? I think this is worth it for the death, just to have this at full health. Yeah, that's fine, I think the cross can uh, work here, but I can get back ice before we get out of here. So much the better. May not be the uh fire does do a lot of damage. Yeah. Okay. I think we'll attempt it by die we'll uh rebuild. Well, may not look it, this is far easier than the death you fight in Castlevania 1. By a whole lot. a good shot at finishing this. Automatically go to the. Okay, so he goes whatever side. Hmm. I think the axe is stronger. What if I fight him from over here? Oh, he does only go to that one side. You know what, I think that's probably our best <laughs> one on death yet. So he just resists all... <laughs> death has the power of screen wrap. Is that just foam in or does it go away? And it does foam. There we go. Again, while I did have to restart that several times, that's still a very easier fight than the first death. What I would like to get before the end is the axe again. As if I remember, the axe kind of counters uh, Dracula's forms. 
feel like we're about to get hit with a lot of evils. Hmm. Even not, just like... Her, or his, like, stick... Little dagger is just so much easier to use. Oh, come on. Ah. I took way too much damage there. I think Syl takes more damage than uh, Trevor, if I remember. Only Alucard was here. You can't leave these little hunchbacks alone, or they'll just wreck you. Better? No more eagles, please. If he snipes me, So at the end of this level is Reverse or Mirror Belmont. And then, of course, Dracula for the finale. I should actually be using uh, Trevor here. Because we do need the... I think it's either Axe or Holy War. You know, I keep forgetting whether or not <laughs> you can actually jump on those. <laughs> oh. Ow. Huh. Well, that actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. And yes, for the newer people watching, this is from the era where there's lots of one-hit kill attacks. Oh, no. I remember this. It is time for Hell Carter version 2. You know what? I will take that. <laughs> I will take that as the, uh, how much damage we took from that section. Mm -hmm. We may need some wall meat. Huh, maybe we're not doing the hell level. Hmm. Oh, wrong way. Or maybe we just haven't gone to it yet, is the other point. Oh no, I think I know what this is about to be. Yep. We're playing this game again. This is where Grant kind of like hard counters things to be able to climb on things. That was close. I say to the top and not too far to the top. <laughs> oh. 
We'll do another backup here. Again, we're getting close to the end. Oh. Not bad time. I think this level is almost over, too. Any more uh, traps waiting for me? Oh! No, you can kind of just, uh, one cycle. Like, the one that does, like, help me a lot, like, being able to do, like, the saves coming here is just being able to kind of learn these patterns. Because normally, if we die, we have to repeat the whole... <laughs> can caboodle. Or at least the whole section prior. There we go. Now, that to the left, I think, is the alternate route you could have taken. Ooh. Oh, oh, wait, I think it's from the right to the left, right? And then this is going to be a uh, ice section for sure. Can I just, like, jump up here? Oh, no. Hmm. I think because she takes so much more damage. Maybe I can, uh... Axe my way to victory. Got it too. Nice. Uh, I don't think I'm going for that. And now for the, uh, oh, horrible part. Oh. <laughs> That last, uh, bird got me. Mm. So this is a whole section that if you had Grant, you just skip it. As Grant has the, uh, ring. Mm. Eesh, taking so much damage with the, uh, jumping here. A lot of this is knowing where they're going to spawn and just preemptively uh, getting them. Okay, so I think after the next hallway is boss. Mm. I'm jumping and I'm not laying time to hit. That bird just flew right off the level. 
All right, so this should be, besides painful, we should be nearing the end. I should take a screenshot here. Oh, <laughs> silly me, that was the end of the level. So this is Evil Belmont. Ooh. And this is a fight that's very similar in uh, one of the uh, the uh, Game Boy Castlevania as well. Miss me. You can throw an axe, right? <laughs> well, he wants to get me. Cheese that. Kind of miss with his ability to jump. Yeah, I think that that's the trick. Oh, somewhat of a trick. Thankfully, he doesn't turn any other forms. I think this is final level. Is it final level, or do we have more? Oh. I did not even see that stairway down there for a second. Oh, here we go again. Am I dead? No? Oh, slow down is real. Oh, jeez, the game can't handle this. It may not be the best place to be a saving, but I'm gonna try it. Oh. There we go. Are we on A of 2 yet? No. This is gonna be a uh, Sylvia. Sylvia section. Again, can all go wrong very quickly. The true enemy are stairs. This? Oh, I just made it. Again, we do not want to be giving up uh, three acts if we can help it. And now for the prerequisite pendulum jumping. Uh 
Do I have to run on this? No. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, this is the part that can get very annoying. Yeah, the uh, committed jumping plus the hitbox on these platforms. Right. Maybe if we go in just one cycle, we'll be fine. And there's the troll. <laughs> so here's I think a little interesting thing about this I'm noticing. This is based on local timers rather than kind of the global. Because if I'm not far enough over, it doesn't spawn the pendulum, which then I'm kind of trapped. It would be better for attacking this. Oh. Is it? Oh, <laughs> I thought that was ground. I think we're at final boss. Well, as soon as I don't screw up on this part, that is. I mean, you can't tell me that that doesn't look like ground in front of me. <laughs> Alright, but this is it. Bad news is that this is one of the more annoying Dracula fights. Oh. Yeah, again, we can't be taking damage on this phase. Because we got a lot more phases to go. <sighs> See, it tracks people in your position, so you have to move just at the right time. Okay, so safely I can get two hits off of him before I have to run. I'm going to take a hit here for sure, yeah. There must be, like, a positioning based on how close the fires can get to Dracula. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Don't worry, we're not done. Now starts multi phase. There were uh, classic game challenges involving uh, trying to beat this. Oh. Oh no, we're not still not done. That's the final phase of Dracula right there. It's a three phaser. Alright. Almost two cycled them. Sure. 
It's that up left hit I'm trying to get. Ah. So you can see, like, without the save stage, just how much annoying this fight would be. So it is based on kind of a proximity to Dracula. There's face. This time I won't be a fool and wait for the music to end before I start tossing. So we're safe on that first approach. Need some screenshots too. Free to kind of run and jump, so he'll like come back at me. That still counts as a hit. That's gonna kill. Alright. I think I have this. Yeah, so the axe is only counting on like the first head that I hit. Unless it dies. Final phase. So you can tell why I desperately wanted to keep Axe for this fight. Oh, come on! We just need one. GG? GG? And that's game. Huh. And we got our ending. So, the achievements for the Anniversary Collection, you get one achievement for each uh, character. Oh. So apparently this is considered the prequel to uh, Simon's uh Huh. It said earlier, I could have swore that the message said that Sifa was a he. So is it canonical that I guess Trevor had to win with uh, Sifa in order to continue the whole Belmont line? What time is it? Oh, it's about 11.30.
overall, I would say, like, all the Castlevania games, despite their retroness, still hold up really well. Like, even, again, just having the ability to make actual checkpoints, I think does a lot to, like, cut into some of the more uh, BS nature of some of these rooms. <laughs> Is that Alucard's real name? GG. Hey, look, it's me. <laughs> we did it. There's a hard more hard mode challenge in this one, right? <laughs> Alright, that's another one uh, for the books. All that's left on this collection would be technically Kid Dracula, Castlevania 2, and Simon. got an achievement for uh, playing every game. Well, thank you for the uh, lesson here. See, no saving in this one is just uh, cruel. That did not save. Um, one second. Jump. Then we want you to be jump. Flip. Again, A is jump no matter what. There's our menu. Can I speed through this text? No. Mm -hmm. hm. So the main thing about what separates Castlevania 2 from all the other ones is that it's the most, like, adventure of them. And with the different upgrades, does take it somewhat to like a Metroidvania territory, but doesn't quite get there, I think. And no map does hurt a bit in this. Technically, we need to buy everything. We need a whip, we need a crystal, we need holy water. So hearts is money. Thank you. Absolutely need the whips. Oh. Aww. Mm. Yeah, I think the first thing we need is to buy the thorn whip for <laughs> only thirteen.
Thank you. Potion will now. What does that mean? It's anybody's guess. You got something to say? The other way to solve the clue is to buy the strategy guy. Okay, so we need 50, 100. Come on. We need 200 hearts. Stop. And when it turns into nightfall, yeah. the enemies become stronger, but they also give us more hearts. So we don't want to go too far away from town. Because we will have to kind of hide in there and do some hard farming. Oh. I need... that. That's the whole reason why I'm playing the game. We need the, uh, curse. Yeah, so... Basically, at nighttime, every enemy takes an additional point of damage, no matter what they are. But, they are worth more hearts. So they're worth. So they take an additional point and they're worth double heart. So again, remember, we need to buy all the items. Which means we have to farm. Unfortunately, completely RNG whether or not they drop parts. So, speedruns of this game are probably a huge pain. <laughs> the first thing we'll buy is the Thorn Whip. As that will allow us to kill enemies faster, which means let's just get hearts faster. I hope you like this song, because you're going to hear it a whole lot playing this one. Alright, we are at 114. I'm pretty sure, like, speedrunners will farm even more hearts than this. Because they obviously know which items they need at all times. The time is ticking. I think it goes to 6 a.m. Another reason why we need to farm for the whip is that because it lets us kill these faster, it lets us travel at night safely, too. I see right here, do they spawn at all or no? could jump over them. Oh. Damn. 
Damn. I wanted to get that last uh, character. Who was selling the whip? Was it you? Yep. Wait, did I buy it? Eh, it says I did. Hmm. Another thing about this game is knowing which holes I can fall down safely and which ones will kill me. Okay, so we need... Yep, we definitely bought the whip and we're one shine the wolves. It's only a hundred hearts. I wonder if anyone's done a uh, basic whip run. That was not easy to say. You see, we, it is required to get the holy water. Unfortunately, we are only getting two hearts a pop. So 90... 92, 94... 96... 98... 100. Crystal. We need to buy holy water. Is it you? A little funky to use. So the interesting thing about this is that all the uh, weapons or the items that we get, they're infinite. So it does not cost me anything to throw holy water around. Just keep going to the right until we get to the end and we go back to the left. I don't remember if there is any uh, fast travel in this. Oh, what was that? Did I level up? Well, I guess you do level up in this too. I do not remember at all what leveling up does. Does it raise our health? Mm-hmm. And of course. Uh-oh. What if it just, like, drop us into the water? And again, having the Thorn Whip allows us to one-shot these enemies even at night, making this a lot safer, and let us have more means of getting around. Mm -hmm. and again, good luck knowing how to do all this. 
without the strategy guide or playing this game already. Poison. I did not actually see the uh, ground there. <laughs> that like really blended in for a second. Hmm. And this is of course dungeon number one. Which I think we are allowed to do. Come on. In every dungeon, there is a... A merchant that sells us a state That is required to unlock the boss. That just looks horrible down there. And having to do more than one hit to kill these guys would be very painful. Here's the bad news. I have no idea where the merchant is. Oh. Oh. Good luck knowing what they mean by that. You were playing this back in 1988 or 89. Mm -hmm. And sadly, for being a vampire hunter, Simon did not carry any stakes with him. Oh! I forgot to mention that there's fake floors. Other reason why you need to bring uh, <laughs> holy water. Oh, there's our steak cellar. Basically, wherever the enemies will walk is safe. Or else it's just danger. Hey, buddy. Did we buy it? Yes. So I, I'm thinking that's what that clue was supposed to represent, that we have to 
hit the enemy or hit the uh, boss or with a stake in order to unlock it. Again, you can't be too careful here. Again, all these clues make perfect sense. Okay, but you're, you're never not going to need hearts. Mm -hmm. Why or oh why would he not walk on that part of the ground? There's the orb. Oh wait, I think I made a mistake. I think you have to use this the stake on the ore that unlocks the boss. You know. Go, we process him. Or maybe there's no boss here. Got a rib. Hmm. I wonder if it's quicker just to fall through the hole here. Or do we just die? One or the other. Was there a point? Again, this is old school design, so there are gonna be rooms that just serve no purpose whatsoever. Right, but we're almost out. Hey, John. It may not seem like it for people who aren't like familiar with this one, but we actually made really good time clearing out the first mansion. Now the other mansions will have bosses in them. Again, I don't think we're going to finish this one on stream. Wait. Oh, no. oh, there we go. I need a crystal that purifies, I think, in order to get through there. Oh. I was just trying to get some footage of it for the uh, Metroidvania book. Now reading a guide to this one, it is a definitely a pain to play. A two shot bats is not what I would like to see. Now we didn't have the thorn whip. It would probably take like maybe three or four hits to knock them out. Oh. Yep, the webs. We don't have an axe. Mm. 
time should be running out. Oh, there's a town in the next area. We're in trouble. But it is seven minutes to minute. I think we'll move on in a second. And again, good luck trying to build a mental map in this game, considering so many of these areas look exactly alike. There we go, we finally made it. You see, again, if you didn't know that this was a thing, all the kids trying to learn this back in 1989. Mm -hmm. You need garlic to pay for the ferryman. We don't get to the save room or the healing room, we're in a lot of trouble. Mm. Yeah, no idea why this town seems to just like to put everything hidden down here. So maybe another whip upgrade? No. We need all the parts of Dracula to win. This is also why I'm kind of excited about the uh, Transylvania quest. That's a good marketing slogan. If I remember, someone does something with the white crystal that then turns it red. And what the red crystal does, I don't remember. I think it lets you go to another area. Alright, we have. What laurels do. Hmm. <laughs> I'm glad one of us does. Oh. So the one crystal made. Oh, okay. So I did need to buy that. Better be a save. Uh -uh. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, we got blue now. Is there really no church in this town? Well, that's not good for me. Okay. I think we'll move on to Anomaly. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to die any second.
Hmm. So again, if you don't know what any of this is, you are just in so much trouble trying to learn this game. Alright. Excuse me? So this is another game that I'm doing some uh, IGF judging for. I played a really interesting one. Uh, Blue Prince, which is kind of like a roguelite adventure game. It's one of those games like Return of the Obra Dinn that you really don't want to stream it because then you're revealing how the game is played. Alright, so this was Roguelite Tactical Strategy. We're going to be fighting giant mushroom uh, creatures. Get that loot. A razor blade. Hmm. We'll get a bit of a party member here. Got a teammate. Ah. Basic charge, charge, and deal seven. Okay. You should take the hit time to ten times to remove a missing with turn and then. Hmm. I think for the classic games, again, you really do have. Like, save something just. Saves you so much in terms of the frustration. Uh oh. Encounter. Fibs. Yeah. 
Wait, what? Oh, okay. Backstab. So what do I be able to do? Hmm. Let's try and knock it back. Sure. Fifteen one armor, okay. Hmm. And we're gonna run out of room at this rate. Easy, right? <laughs> Run one plus one. Hmm. It's done. Oh, I see. That's good, it lets you actually see it. Uh, sure, I guess. I suppose you have skill and traits. Tell you what their primary stat is? Earth and tech. Tech and support, so it's not mine. Well, I'll put it on just to put it on. guy can't do anything. Huh. Okay. I think we just win. Defib. Uh, there's another game I want to play this week as well. It's not like Metroid being anything related. Um, Depersonalization. Looked like very advanced and very challenging RPG. Thank you. 
That's a lot of armor. Here, have a brick. I just realized this is the third game that I've played in like the last two days that all involves time loops and like time manipulation. <laughs> Alright, so these are additional characters. So I'm guessing these are things I can show up as we level up. And then your please attack. Armor. Good. Alright. We'll stick with our uh, offense here. Too hard. I'm not quite sure how many uh, party members are allowed to have a total yet. So I'll check things out here. Nice glove. Sure. Let's use that for the armor right now. Okay. This time we're talking with this guy. So we probably want him. Oh. That, since he's our tank. There's a two turn, expires in two turns. 30, 24. It's the same thing, I think, no matter what I choose. Do so we have a spitter? I think we can knock him back. Here. 
I was kind of feeling I to do more damage. That beam up to lose in effect. Alright, say goodnight. We take more than the uh, turn limit to get them, then it becomes more dangerous. Works for him. Is there flanking? The damage increase the damage of the next attack by one. Sure. More support means I can kind of tank more. Turns. Sure. <laughs> Everyone is uh, getting close here. Seven. Hmm. I'm surprised I did not move them. all the way, we just have to do it the old fashioned way. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we only undo, we didn't take any damage, thanks to shield. Jason, you have a flying attack. There we go. Easy. Hey, hey, no. Hmm. All players are going to go to the next hole. I'll take this. Uh oh, what's that, man? Sorry. Hmm. 
Parker. Okay. Plus one, second one. Beep. AP plus two. Hmm. Remember this was used for the first time. Here's the original skill. This skill goes to the top. Hmm. Okay. This. Give this to you. Yeah, he has higher attack. Uh, I'm not going to undo chance. Not sure why this is giving me a thumbs up. Oh, that's how. I like that it does point out when things are like related to the character. We cannot afford that. Get the other party member. This. This. Sure. Sure. Dare try it? Mm. Oh, it's three against three. Wait, what's this? Okay. I guess the question is, who's the most, uh, mm, pressing one to deal with? Doesn't count as ten. Move over here for the boost. Well, the quicker we kill them, the better, right? One thing that does kind of suck a little bit oh. 
I can't kind of like hold my turn. Who's attacking what? did not work. on him? I gotta kill this big guy before anything else happens. Hmm. Oh, I can't use it on him. So I kind of go all out. We'll definitely get. <laughs> the 
this guy actually like do anything? I think we've uh, lost this. <laughs> mm. Okay, so. We are getting some uh, bonus stats. So should I look for some more events? attacks. Hmm. Oh, it's like we got kind of like this uh, roguelite side of things. So I don't think we have it in it to do a elite encounters yet because of the time limit. Oh, that's alright. didn't show up as part of his strength. Alright, so we always kind of get like one character for free. Oh. Mm -hmm. I did not pay attention to what that modifier is. Oh, we were safe. Oh, no, I hit the wrong button. Can I undo that? Okay, so. 
but being a heal, we're not really... able to heal much, are we? Support doesn't help either one of them? Really? I think when she levels up, she gets the ability to heal, is that right? Is it not showing me, like, the, uh, prompt anymore? Weird. This may get me in trouble. Not another 70. Hmm. I was about to say... Better get that co-op. Alright, well... In theory, you should be able to kill him this turn. enough to kill? No, well, the crit definitely has saved me there. No heal again? I just hope we can do enough damage in four turns to kill this guy. I guess he's so big he counts for two. I don't know if I like the whole idea of punishing the player for taking too long to fight in a game like this. Sure, I guess. 
as a time check, it is 12.40. Let's put that on you. Where's it? Here. Sure. Get our third party member. Sure. And this time I want to see what this does. They just said we unlock something. Mm. Yeah. They have no way of breaking through their armor. Gun seems to be highly effective. Game reinforcements. Great. Right, well, if I go over here, we can at least finish you off. I think we just gotta go for broke here. Is it we get? Don't finish them before time runs out, we're just gonna lose. Two birds are further away. We don't have really a snipe here. But this goes to our tank. Now you got a class. Okay. So this is definitely going for more of a uh, rogue light design. Yes, 
something for you. Oh, well now she gets a heal. Going forward. Where is this skill's the first one used in a turn? Or the spore thing, but we don't have a choice. Bad first action. Gills for how nice to find in. If I move her there, I can't do anything. Go over here. Those fly down are not so bad. What does abundance mean? Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know, this seems like a really powerful move. Let me start every turn with a free attack. I'm just spend a tag with the other fairy time and get more time this time. There are more times. Well, that only seems like it's for him. <laughs> Deal in the balloon. <laughs> this one doesn't seem bad, but I don't know what's here is enough to like make it stand out. Now it's showing to me. We have no more room for abnormalities. have the room for anything else. down here. Mm. 
Your hammer is based on strength and tech. And your attacks are just all... Sure. I guess it will help. So we should get a boss fight after this. Oh, geez, there's always more than, than so many enemies. I'll start uh, breaking this guy. against the wall now is push him oh, not bad but I'm pretty sure about to get ambush on this next turn Seems like you don't want to attack with everyone. All right, say goodnight. This was one of the first entries in one AP when I. Burn damage. Hmm. Oh, the one then. Burn damage taken. I don't think I can actually use any of this. Doesn't really help me as a treat. 
That's not bad. Perfect wrench. Alright, it is boss time, and then we'll probably wrap this up after that. It's gonna be the same fight as before. Yes. Oh no, he's just cast rock. still use it for free. Neat. Oh, since this guy is about to do something crazy, let's just stun him now. Won't be like right here and just keep doing uh, flanks. I think that's how it works. Ow. Okay, so I can get a. I think we get a, a co op here. No. Here. Smash him. Hmm. I don't know where this is going. Maybe I can, uh, force these guys down. Exactly what I was afraid of. Move right here.
Oh, this is going to hurt, isn't it? So every time Okay, so every time we hit him or we break his armor <laughs> Everyone loves anomalies. <laughs> so every time we break his armor it summons spiders. And then that also leaves him weak. Like, we can't focus down, or we can't hit the spiders. I think we can take, if we get some crits, I think we take them this turn. Alright, I think this is, oh, almost GG. I think all we can really do right now is tanky tank and just <laughs> try and break them. Because if we don't do anything in four rounds, we're just going to get nuked. That was a lucky uh, hit there. Hmm. Yeah, that seems perfect for our tank. Definitely wear that. And we really didn't take a lot of damage. Mm. Wait, is it pa it's a passive slot, right? So we can unlock more active slots without completing uh, the meta progression. That was a long uh, first chapter. But I think we unlock additional characters. Oh, horrible. Mm hmm. Really matter? I kind of want to see what the unique event is, because apparently this is all going to be tied to progression. Oh, so he's parrying. Well, I'd love I had more ways of.
kind of going for these uh, increased AP. Oh, she bumped into him, and that's what caused the, uh, hit. Do have the means of healing. We'll wait like one turn and then we'll heal. Nope. No more of that. Maybe a shield bash. That was a pretty effective turn. But if he's always the first one to go in this skill... I don't know if this is the first one to use on a turn... And I can put it on just to have it as the stat, I suppose. Hmm. So that was 20... And oh, it is after one. So I think we'll wrap things up after this fight. Which I'm hoping won't be too bad. Okay, here we go again. Oh, that's right. I can just go like this, can I? Co-op. I can eat the food. Stand by. Bash you. Who's attacking this square? Oh, jeez. Or... Alright. You're the one that has the most health. Or is it the one that has the most health that we can hit? I don't think know that apply that. Alright, kill you. I have to remember to keep using this move. This should be enough to kill with corner plus co-op. Yep. 
This fight is over. Oh. Okay. Under and burning grit. Oh! That'll be actually really handy here. Wait, slam damage plus one. For more slam. Alright, is this enough yet? Still off by one. And these are all elites, aren't they? No slam. Do they have anything else that's nasty for me to deal with? Kind of see how bad this one is. If it's like a long one, I think we'll wrap up. Ugh. Why do I have to say it? How much health? Ooh, that's a lot of health. I guess it won't let me run through them. Hmm? What the? Hmm. We have a bit of a problem. Apparently the clicking was not letting me, uh, do this. Uh-oh. Nope, actually we have a... Hmm. For some reason the mouse click is not applying it, I don't know why. Weird. You guys can't come over here. Alright, well, this guy... Seems like he's gonna be the biggest threat, so we'll stun him for a turn. the means of one second I can use the heal we're attacking all that
here. Yeah, for some reason the controls have gotten a little uh, screwy. Everyone's going to the slam. <laughs> Alright, we win before he gets in action. Say goodnight. This is again one of those games where it's easy until it's not, and then we're in like horrible, horrible danger. Yeah. yeah for some reason, the game is no longer reading my mouse there. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright. But that is going to do it. So, for tomorrow night, I'm thinking either we do more Castlevania, or I may jump ahead and we look at either Hollow Knight or Bloodstain, as I do need to get some footage of modern day Metroidvanias. I also do a few more of the games that we have judging, and when all the judging and the Metroidvanias are done, we will begin a, a play of Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, which uh, Foreign on the Discord said will take me at least two weeks of streaming. I feel it will take longer than that, <laughs> but we'll see how things go. So thank you everybody for tuning in. If you're new, do the YouTubing stuff. Check out the Discord and Patreon. Support will go towards getting more daily streaming happening. Have a great evening and come back for the other discussions on game design here and on game wisdom, where some of the art and science.